Super Show is sunny. Sunny. There you go. A little bit, a little overcast. Yeah. It's all good. The release came out today that Kevin might not, it was probably not going to be uh, what you guys at the start of the finals. How do you guys adjust to that? Oh man. Just keep doing what we've been doing. Um, it'll be incredibly, it'll be really difficult without him, but I mean, it's doable to put our minds to it. What does that mean to you? Obviously, you take a lot of pride in playing on that side of the ball. Oh man, I'm very grateful uh, to be recognized. Huge honor and some motivation to keep going and hopefully get on the first team one day. Was that important at all to you? I mean, I know you hadn't been, and that was kind of like Yes, it was. I was happy to make it. So it's, uh, it's hard work, and I was very happy to make it. What part of your defense do you think maybe didn't get fully credited for? I'm not sure. I don't know. Good question. Is that it? I'm no, okay. <laughs> you, uh, you nearly made the All-NBA team, which would have elevated your potential. Oh, I did? They yeah. already came out? Yeah, it came out today. You were, like, uh, right behind Peele. Who got, or no, no, right behind, who got third team? Kyrie. Uh, but you, you barely, yeah, Kemba. Kemba got it. Uh, you were a couple. I mean, that's cool and all, but, like, when you go to five straight finals, I, I, I respect those guys, but holy, when you go to five straight, I mean, it takes more than just a couple of NBA guys. It's like an all-time team, but whatever. That's not. A, I'd rather win a championship than be 13 all NBA, so it's all good. Do you, do you, not, do you not like that, that that affects potential contract statuses, you know, all NBA stuff, because that would have elevated yeah. you to another. It's, it is what it is, you know, I can't control it. Uh, do I think there's that many guards better than me in the league? No, but that's the reason why we're still playing, so I don't even want to get into it, honestly. How are you able to roll that off your back, given, I mean, there's money implications? Rings. You guys have the talent and the depth to, to miss some games from Kevin, from DeMarcus, from Andre. It's still difficult to do that. Yeah. What are you proud of as far as how everyone just uh, everyone's being a professional and um, the guys when they're called up I mean Steve said it, it takes three four guys to replace what he does and for these uh, bench guys to come in and do what they've been doing these last two rounds it's incredible do you like routine and predictability this type of year and like Injuries kind of throw that curveball, and I know you have to adjust. But what is that like in the playoffs? Yeah, some sort of like. I mean, no one's gonna. Yeah, you do, but no one's gonna feel bad for us. We played a lot of injured teams the last few years in the playoffs, so fans probably look at us thinking, thinking about time they do a little injury adversity, and it's that time of the year where everyone's to be a little banged up. You just gotta mentally fight through it. And I'm not saying this is a detriment. When you guys pull KD back in, when you pull DeMarcus back in, when you're playing at such a high level in the playoffs, how much adjustment does that take to get everybody's footing back together? And, you know, when there's such uh, small margins in the yeah. playoffs. Honestly, not too much because we uh, those guys are so talented that you just throw them out there and they'll do great things. So uh, we got guys who are great at adapting to their roles, so I'm not too worried. This is where experience comes into play. Oh, for sure, 100%. Clay, Draymond said that despite the changes we all recognize in his play lately, his demeanor, he says, I'm the same guy. Do you, do you see that as the case? Is he the same guy? Yeah. He's the same play. Uh, he's been doing this for years now, so uh, he's triple doubles, his defensive play, that really doesn't surprise me. Not really. I just keep. I just do what I do. Try to be effective on both sides of the ball. Well, yeah. Adam Silver was for the idea of because of maybe some concerns about the ratings to move up to tip times on the West Coast. What did you think about that idea? It's not a bad idea. Get some your nights a little more, so it would be the worst thing. What, what was kind of the uh, the day to day regiment like in the uh, Portland series, knowing there's no shoot around early tip time versus? Uh, it was a little 
little different, but hey, it worked out, baby. Sweet, <laughs> so it could be worse.